Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how I dropped my JPU temps for just 46 cents. Yep, I'm not talking about $46, not even 5 bucks, literally under a dollar. And all I needed was my 3D printer, a scrap piece of filament, and some tiny fans I already had laying around. So here's where the idea even came from. I was looking inside my case and noticed this big empty space right below the GPU. It was just wide open with nothing going on. And not gonna lie, it hit me. Why not just use those freed? PCIe slots to mount some fans and push more air straight at the GPU or even away from it. That's when I designed these PCIe fan mounts. One holds two 40mm fans and the other holds a single 60mm fan. It's a simple idea, a two-part 3D print and as you'll see later in the results, it works very well. So here's a design in Fusion 360. I kept it pretty simple. Just a bracket that slides into empty PCIe slots with cable routing holes for both intake and exhaust configurations. And finally an easy to assemble clip for the screws that actually hold the bracket in place. The double 40mm version fits two fans side by side and the other is a clean mount for a single 60mm fan with extra holes for maximum airflow. They print super quick, about an hour 30 total and minimal supports are needed and they're super super sturdy and heat resistant. And let me again just emphasize, this only cost me about 46 cents worth of PLA for the print. Everything else, the fans, screws, and filament I already had laying around my shop. Installing them is actually super nice and easy. First, you just wedge this smaller part into the main bracket and make sure it's securely in place. And then you screw the fans into the mount, plug them into your fan header or controller, and then slide the whole thing into an empty PCIe slot. And just like that, I've got targeted airflow pushing right under the GPU or exhausting out if that's your preference, all without modifying anything else in the case. Alright, let's check out the results. Here's the graph from my testing. The red line is with no extra fans, the green line is with two 40mm fans, and the blue line is with the single 60mm fan. With no fans, the GPU settled at around 69.5 degrees Celsius. Adding the dual 40mm fans brought that down by about 1.5 degrees, reaching a maximum of 68 degrees, which isn't really that massive, but it's still a measurable improvement. The real surprise came from the single 60mm fan. That setup on its own shaved off a full 3 degrees Celsius compared to no fans at all, and it kinda makes sense. A single 40mm fan can actually move more air and generate a higher static pressure than two 40mm fans combined. The larger blade diameter means it pushes a bigger column of air and because of the fan curve, you get roughly double the airflow and almost double the static pressure compared to stacking two smaller fans next to each other. That stronger, more direct airflow right at the GPU explains why the temps dropped more with just one bigger fan. And that's not bad for a bit of filament and a singular fan. So, if you've got a 3D printer and some spare fans lying around, this is a super easy way to get better cooling without any intrusive modifications to your PC. I'll drop the link to our Etsy storefront if you'd like a shot at these for yourself. If you found this helpful, Hit that like button and subscribe for more projects just like this one. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more PC mods. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.